What's up YouTube? Today I want to do a review on the Diamondback line. Um, first of all, I want to start off by saying I don't want to do a traditional review on this bike. What I want to do is actually show you me riding the bike and showing you some of the things that I think that the bike needs or excels in. So let's get right, right into it. If you guys want the specs on the bike, I'll go ahead and drop the link in the below for where you can got, purchase the bike and check out all the specs. So right off the bat, it comes with some really nice foot pedals, uh, flat foot pedals. What I did straight off the bat was I switched it up and I went with the race face just for per personal preference. I think that the other ones, as soon as it gets wet, they're too slick for me personally, but that's just my personal preference. Other than that, I haven't done any upgrades to the bike. That's what I wanted to do the review on when the bike was still stock. So, um, I went, I've done about a month of testing on this bike to, and really tried to put it through its paces on wet and dry and skinnies and all sorts of stuff, which you're going to see a little bit later in the video. So please stick around. Um, one of the things I noticed straight off the top is that the bike in the front end feels like you're leaning too far over the front. It seems way too low. So I went ahead and ordered some spacers and stuff like that and, and bigger handlebars. I have not got them yet. I wanted to do the review before I got them because I wanted to do the review on this bike when it's basically completely stock. Um, I have not had any issues with the bike. It has been an amazing bike. The only thing that has gone wrong with it is that I have broke the chain on it. it. The chain within three weeks of having the bike snapped. I'm very hard on the bike, so I can't really say that that's could have been a bad chain. It has nothing to do with Diamondback, I don't believe. Um, this bike will run you right around, I think it's $7.99 with free shipping in my area. I'm in the um, Portland metro area. Uh, yeah, here, I'm gonna go ahead and show you guys a picture of the bike, which I'll go ahead and put up now. Alrighty, now you guys got to see the bike. Now let's go ahead and put it in action. I'm gonna go ahead and run some clips for you guys so you can kind of see how the bike acts and feels um, going off a couple small jumps and a couple little trails and stuff like that. And then afterwards, I'll go ahead and run a couple clips of me talking about the bike and how I think it could be fixed or how I think it's awesome. Please stick around and check it out. So we have the Suntour fork, we have Shimano BLMT200 front and rear disc brakes. Um, this is a one by drivetrain. It actually comes with a very comfortable Diamondback um, saddle, which I will not be changing. I will just go ahead and put that right on my dropper post. It comes with uh, tubeless ready wheels, which are awesome. When these tires get low, I'll just go ahead and upgrade to some Maxxis with tubeless ready. One of the things I did do was put the monkey nuts, um, little fender guy right there. Um, yeah, it's a great bike. I would highly recommend getting it if you're just getting into mountain biking or if you want a new hardtail. So don't forget to like and subscribe.